Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my podcast, Tapped In. I am your host, Tapio Mafura, and today I've got a special guest for you, a man from USA. We call him Captain America. His name is Ruben De Haas. Ruben, welcome to my podcast, oh, brother. Tapsy. Thank you so much for having me on, brother. Thank you for joining me today, brother. You are a special guest today because you have been to the World Cup, and not a lot of people can say they've done that, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring you here today. Um, we're going to be talking about a few things today, rugby related and uh, just getting to know you better. And we're going to get right into it. The first question I'm going to be asking you is just uh, your bio. Give me a little bit of history about yourself. Tell me where were you born and where did you grow up and how did the rugby career start? Yeah, so um, yeah, Tapsi, I was actually born in George in South Africa. Awesome. And then, uh, yeah, I went to a primary school in George and stuff like that. And then uh, at the age of 10, my family decided to pack up and immigrate to the US of A. And yeah, I went to high school there and then um, played like high school rugby there. It's kind of different because it's not like South Africa where every high school has like a rugby team, yeah. stuff like that. So you have to play for a club and travel a lot and stuff, mm. which was fun. So after that, um, after high school, I came to uh, to Bloom to give it a crack at the Cheetahs and stuff and played uh, a year of Varsity Cup for CUT. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, after that, I got a contract at the Cheetahs and, yeah, I've been in Bloom ever since. That's dope. And what was the reason for your family moving from yeah, so, USA to USA? Uh, my grandmother actually married an American guy. Wow. So she, like, met him on vacation and then married him. Yeah. So we would always go visit and stuff. And my dad and mom just, like, they, they loved the US of A. So yeah. they decided, why not give it a go? And we, it's yeah. pretty cool. It's pretty yeah. cool, man. It hasn't, it hasn't always been easy. Like, why I was not? talking to my dad the other day. Like, where we, like... When we moved, all we took was like yeah. four suitcases. So yeah. we pretty much start over. So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Eh? And like, obviously, we have to you have to apply for green cards and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. and, How long does it take yeah. to get a green card? Uh, so I'm not exactly sure. I think you have to like, like when you move there, you can you come on a working visa, yeah. obviously, and then you have to like show that you can make it, like send in your papers, like yeah. you're making money and be able to make a living and stuff like that. But uh -huh. like. My family actually, our first like application for a visa, we fa it, we failed. Is it? Yeah. Wow. What was the reason for failing? I don't know. My dad didn't like. We were in school. My dad didn't tell my sister and I. They didn't never let us like know but they failed Jeez. and stuff. And they just kept on going. And then yeah. we finally got it. So yeah. It's when a, you fail, like how long does it take you to like? You have, re you have to restart the immediately. Yeah, you can. I think you can go immediately, but then you have to just pay more lawyers yeah. and stuff like that. That's crazy. All right. So let's go a little bit more into your rugby journey. Tell me how uh, when you started playing. Uh, and how you got to the cheetahs? I think you already explained, but just yeah. give us a little bit more so, detail. So yeah, like obviously, I like when you were younger in South Africa, you know, you play from like six or five yeah. or six years old. So obviously, I did that. And then when we moved to the states, I actually stopped playing rugby for like yeah. two or three years because, like I said, like the high school teams don't have it. So I obviously yeah. got into like the American football, basketball, and stuff like that. Yeah. And then my dad decided, okay, let's make like an under-17 team or under-16 team at a club. And Did then he I, started? Yeah, he started what? the team. Yeah. So Crazy. that's when I started playing rugby again. Yeah. So And then yeah, after that, I came to the Cheetahs under-19s and like yeah. worked myself through the ranks. Yeah. And then obviously a year at CUT. And then, yeah, no. Crazy. Yeah. That is crazy, man. And yeah. well, the reason why I'm saying it's crazy is because you have actually played in the World Cup now. And... From where you started, not a lot of people like get there with the start like that. Like, when did you find out when you were gonna play for USA, and how was that experience for you? So obviously, Tepsi, like I went through like the USA age grade stuff, yeah. like under 19, under 20s, and stuff like that. So it was kind not. It was kind of like a goal to like maybe one day play for the Eagles or something. Just get yeah. that. You know, you always want to play for a country or something. But mm. it was a goal of mine, and then. After school, they have like a USAA, like almost like a, just yeah. below the, the main team. And they had a tournament. I played for them. And then after that, I got the call up to make my debut. But Crazy. Yeah, I guess it was, who was it? Uh, I think it was, yeah, it was Chile. So it wasn't like a yeah. very big game, but it was still yeah. like, man, it was it amazing. Big, yeah. Yeah, just to be out there and be able to make your debut. So Imagine. Now, so now did you play? Yeah, <laughs> that is so decent. Like, yeah. I was so nervous. Did bro. you like, impress? Like, yeah, so not, re no, no? not really. Yeah, it's just like, like a normal guy. Yeah, it's like I was so nervous. Like, I just didn't want to do anything wrong. But yeah, I remember like the first scrum in the game, the eight man picked up and just like fended me off, and I was like, <laughs> no. oh yeah, this come on, a, bro. yeah. Exactly. I was like, that's a terrible start. But 
mean? big though, still yeah, big. Was, and um, Japan, how was that experience? I mean, that's, that's, yeah, it was it was unreal, man. Like, not the rugby was amazing, but just like the people in Japan and mm-hmm. like how it, like they organized the events and all that stuff. Yeah. So it was like. It was a dream come true, man. And like, like I said, to be able to play against like yeah. Owen Farrell and like the top top players in the yeah, world, true, man. True. It's, it's I mean, crazy. That's the ultimate yeah. goal. No, for sure, man. Yeah, I mean, I hope to play there one day as well. Yeah, no, for sure. um, what are your goals? I mean, we're getting back to playing uh, rugby soon, and uh, we're gonna. I think we might have a curry cup. We don't know what tournament we're gonna have. If you get a chance to play, what are your goals for the yeah, future? Yeah, like actually, I think. A lot of the times, I think it's just like for me, it's taking it day by day and just making sure I get better every day and just yeah. be. Are you better today than you were yesterday? But if I get to play, obviously you would like to impress and just do it, do your best on the field. But yeah. I think if you become better every day and work hard every day, like the rest will take care of itself on the field. So, yeah. but I'm just looking forward, just being like you know, just to be able to be back on the field and be able to play. What do you have to do to become a professional player? And once you are a professional player, what is it that you have to do to stay a professional player? Because we've seen a lot of guys that have yeah. tried to make it and they made so many mistakes. What do you think? Yeah, Tafsi, I think like I think everyone says hard work, but I mean, yeah. man, it really is behind the scenes. It's a lot of hard work and it's dedication yeah. and like. A rugby t- player, it's a full-time job, man. It takes so much time out of your day, spending time on the field or yeah. whatever your job is or what position you play. Those fine skills and details you yeah. have to work out, work out to be the best. I mean, like for a nine, in my position, like passing and kicking, man, yeah. you have to be like those basic things you have to be really good at and you have to spend a lot of time, time at it. And I think like sometimes we can get like bored at the with the de- like the small details and yeah. stuff like that. But mm-hmm. I think those details make you that can make you the best player you can be and stuff like that so I think just working hard and like I said I mean you still gotta you have to have fun with it as well it doesn't true, it's true. not gonna help you if you go to work and dreading to go to work every day that is true so I think having fun but yeah having a great work ethic and you know, being the best teammate you can be that was some wise words brother and if you weren't playing rugby what would you be doing? <laughs> oh jeez do you know what you'd be doing? yeah uh, so I am studying like an international business degree as well at That's the nice. moment. But man, if I could be like anything else, I would for sure love to be like a basketball player. Like you, just, you to, give crack, yeah, just to give it a crack. Just to give it a crack. It'd be a lot of fun, I feel like. But yeah. I mean, those guys are massive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but you, I feel like you need some height as I well. Because exactly. everybody starts on like <laughs> six foot. Yeah. What, how I'll tell you? I'm like, most of the, like, the point guards are like six two, and I'm yeah. like six, I'm six foot. So. Don't lie. Don't, yeah. Don't. yeah, I'm definitely come don't on. Lie. I'm six <laughs> foot. <laughs> no, you're not being the same height. I'm like <laughs> no, five something. But uh, lastly, uh, do you have some advice for any upcoming rugby players? Yeah, like like I said, man, just I would say just take it day by day and make sure you're being the best you can be. Yeah. Cuz I think for like a young rugby player like we you want everything to happen just right away. You mm. want all the results now. You just mm. like you want to be on the big stage and stuff. And it, obviously for a rugby player it takes experience. It takes yeah, you got to do your time. So yeah. I think I would just say just working hard every day, having fun, and yeah, being the best you can be. No, oh, thank you, brother. I think they're gonna appreciate that advice. And um, that's the end of our sh- of our episode four. Once again, I just want to thank you for joining me. I appreciate you, and I hope they can uh, take all the wise words that you gave. Me. No, thank you so much for having me on, Tapsy. Pleasure, brother. And that's a wrap.